Welcome back. Public Service and Administration Minister Senzo Mkunu is warning public officials against doing business with the state. This as reports emerge of officials and their spouses having benefited from government tenders, allegedly. Govan Whittle is joining us for more on this story now. So the PPE corruption scandal, Govan, has brought into the issue of government officials doing business with the state. What does government have to say about this, and the minister in particular? Well, the minister says there will be a, a few arrests, some possible prosecutions that may follow in the coming weeks, uh, even months. And this is an issue which has really been dragging on for the last two years, um, which has been started by the previous minister. Um, and that's the issue of government officials doing business with the state. And after the final audit, the government has found that there are still 1,544 government officials who are doing business with the state. That's a criminal offense, Shahan. And the minister says that they won't hesitate to act against those people. He met with some of the officials in the justice cluster just a week ago and he says we should watch the space for some action from that cluster. Let's have a look at what Senzo Mkunu had to say. Some civil servants um, despite our guidance, our provision in terms of regulations and our insistence in statements that we have made very often that it is criminal to make uh, or to do business with the state they have gone on to do it. They have gone on to do it. And we are bound to take, to take action. That meeting ex exactly did that. And we are taking action. Um, and, and therefore, the process is at a, at an, at a very advanced stage. And that's, an, that's, that's now in, not in terms of talking and making statements in, term of, in terms of action okay. against, against those public servants that have done what is prohibited. All right, so let's talk about the spouses of government officials. Are they free to conduct business with the state? Technically, they are. And uh, there's a matter between it's a case of perception versus what the letter of the law says in this regard. And the minister here speaking about uh, what's happened currently in the debate around whether the president's spokesperson's husband was entitled to bid for a tender and do business with the state. And the minister says that legally he can do so, but the minister sends him to is well aware of the perception from the general public that people who are married to government officials and inevitably bid for government contracts are in some some or other way favoured uh, when they're doing so. Let's have a look at what the Minister said in terms of the clarity around this issue. It would be an unfair advantage for um, a spouse to benefit from um, their partner uh, uh, who is inside government and then the spouse does business via that spouse who is inside government. It would give them an unfair advantage. It would give them, you know, uh, and, and it gets perceived as something that is, that is wrong, irregardless of what the law says, but in terms of perception, because uh, here is um, uh, that kind of situation, and um, um, state money is involved there and so on.